Eight days out, the low carbs starting to hit, but in typical fashion, uh, throughout the last 12 weeks at least, my lunch break is going to be spent working towards my goals, man. So today is cardio. We're going to mix it up. Um, cardio is cardio is a funny thing. It's it's something I always preached that you never needed to get shredded until I actually tried to get shredded and I wanted to eat more than 2,000 calories in a day. Um, when that happened, I realized that, uh, you know, your average guy isn't gonna get shredded on 3,000 calories and no cardio. So that's why I implemented cardio. And uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. So it's gonna be high intensity interval training. I just, yeah, just came home from work, um, parked the car there, went inside, grabbed my GoPro, and now I'm walking down to the Oval, and you guys come with me. So, yeah, it's really coming down to the crunch now. Basically, I'm just getting through the day with the least amount of food that I can handle. So that means that I'm feeling hungry most of the day, definitely going to bed on, uh, not so much of a full stomach as what I'm used to, but I really don't give a shit because, um, you know, it's all come down to this. So I will be pushing as hard as I can right up until the last moment. But, uh, yeah, we're just about down to the oval. I'll uh, show you guys what I'm going to do when I get there. All right, guys. So here we are, one high intensity interval training, lunchtime cardio session. A little bit of hit, a little bit of HIIT. Most of my cardio this prep has been low intensity, steady state. Today I've probably got about 20 minutes and I just want to smash something out nice and quick. I'm not doing weights until later tonight. I've actually fasted all of today so my energy levels are low, especially being eight days out, but we're going to kill it. So what I'm going to do is sets of 40, 40 meter sprints, um, I'll walk back, I'll do some press ups and then I'll have a little bit of a rest and do it all again. So uh, we'll see how many of these I can do in, um, in like 20 minutes, maybe push it to 30, we'll see how I feel, but these sprints really take it out of you so I definitely won't need long. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. That's round one. As you can see, all I've done, one up, one down, one up, one down, 10 press ups in between. It's the press ups that take it out of you, man. So I'm just gonna have, this is called high intensity interval training for a reason. You go hard for a few minutes, have a little bit of a breather. I'm just gonna walk up and down probably once or twice and then straight back into it, another four. So five minutes down, 15, 20 minutes to go. Press up is by far the worst part. Don't rest. That's not high intensity. 
Six, seven, eight, nine. Nice and slow. That's set number two. Holy fuck. Number three. Set number three is going to be the last set. I really don't need to, you know, do any more than this. It's got my heart rate going. What some people don't realise is that after high intensity training, if you don't eat for the next hour or two, mate, you're still going to be burning a shitload, you know? As soon as you go and eat, it stops the fat burning process. For a particular amount of time, not for long, but that's why I kind of like intermittent fasting as a basic principle. Make the most, as well as faster cardio, make the most of the opportunities you have to lose fat. If you're in the fat burning mode, extend it for as long as possible. And then when you do eat, um, eat a bit more at, the, at one time, you know what I mean? Same amount of calories throughout the day, but it may or may not increase or decrease your uh, rate of fat loss. But whatever you have to do to stay, in, stay within your calorie amount per day, you do what you gotta do. However you wanna eat it, six meals, two meals, oh, I don't give a shit. All right, last set. Let's go. You know what's left? One set. 10 push ups, that's it. Let's go. Nice and slow. This is it, last set. Oh, good form. Oh, building in the chest. Thanks. Yeah. That's a good workout. 20 minutes, in and out, can't beat it. We're out, back to work. So fucking hot. So hot. 35 today, start of October. Might be about 100 Fahrenheit for you Americans. If any of you watch CG Fitness, when he's sweating his balls off in his garage, in his uh, storage unit thing, and he goes outside, he says it's like 110 degrees, sweating. That's what Alice Springs is like, so it's crack up because I was watching that, his whole cutting series and thinking, geez, that looks similar. You know, clear blue sky every day. Very, I don't know if they, they have a lot of tropical storms there, I think. Alice Springs is lucky, it, it uh, escapes a lot of that. Hey, I'm done, man. I am done. Go have a shower, pack some food, I haven't eaten yet. But, you gotta do what you gotta do. I wanna look shredded. Alright guys, so a few last thoughts just before I get home. Total workout was 20 minutes exactly, actually. Consisting of three sets of four. So that's 12 total. So that's 12 times a 40 meter sprint. About a 40 meter walk. And 10 press ups. Proper press ups, no knees, no bullshit. If I have to stop on seven, I'll take a break and do another three. From there, you get up, catch your breath, and go for another sprint. So I did that four times, had a, breath, had a break, a couple of minutes. Did it another four times, had a break, and did another four times. And now I'm walking home. So as you can see, heart rate's still up. And uh, 
we getting it. <laughs>